Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, May 19th. It is hitting 9 o'clock a.m. Um, I got up a few hours ago, but I like to fast in my morning a little bit. Um, I'm cooking my, my egg white pancake. <laughs> Literally egg whites and oats and cinnamon and that's it. Um, but yeah, I like to fast a little bit in the morning just because when I have low days, I like to stretch out my food as long as I can. Um, so like I probably don't have my third meal until like two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, when on a normal day, I'd be having my third meal around 12 o'clock. That just gives it so I have more food towards the end of the night, the night because I just hate sitting in bed twiddling my thumbs and just being hungry when I'm watching TV or hanging out. So, so that's why I do that and it makes my day a whole lot more um, comfortable for me. So just cooking breakfast um, and today I have to go pick up 50 pounds of chicken and 30 pounds of roasted potatoes because Dave and I have decided we're going to get catering service now um, because our lives are just getting a little too busy right now to be cooking all the chicken all the time, even though we do pounds at a time. But uh, it will so be worth it. But um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit when I'm heading out to go pick up the food. Always gonna do a mirror check. Looking pretty snatched today. Always measure your almond butter and peanut butter on the fucking scale so it's accurate. On point. See that shit? If I see my clients doing it the opposite way, I will not be happy. Watch and learn. All right, so just pulled in the fireflies. Down here in Marlboro, Mass. Um, they, I just have to wait a few minutes. I'm a couple minutes early before they open up, but I will be getting our 50 pounds of chicken and 30 pounds of roasted potatoes. Um, big shout out to Fireflies because um, they actually were gonna be doing the catering for mine and Dave's wedding, um, but that didn't happen because of COVID. So, um, but yeah, this is like a really good barbecue place. If you ever want to check it out, if you're in the Marlboro Mass area, they do like a, a bunch of different barbecue, um, you know, they get the food trucks and stuff like that. So, but it's, I, I like how they cater to our needs because it's funny, we reached out to them and we wrote them an email. We're like, we're bodybuilders. We're looking for 50 pounds of chicken, like probably once a month we'll pick up. It's so such a weird thing to ask for. But um, anyways, they cater to your needs where they know that they understand that we cannot have like any oils or no butters or anything like in the mixture of cooking stuff. So it's literally just plain chicken grilled and then they're gonna smoke it a little bit to give it a little bit of that smoked flavor for us. Um, and then just basic roasted potatoes. So, um, yeah, I'm just super stoked to pick this up because it's gonna make life so much freaking easier. But I'm gonna head in in a second and then we'll take it home and we'll package it all up. All stocked up. All right, I'm back home. Got it all right here. Now it's time to package it all up. Um, you know, I was having some difficulties in the truck. I couldn't record because I wanted to do some of my thoughts. But, um, you know, a couple thoughts that I had going through my mind for people to understand is when it comes to bodybuilding and you want to pursue it, uh, when it comes to being a competitive bodybuilder. There's a lot that you have to keep in mind. Um, certain things to keep in mind for sure is when it comes to money. Um, bodybuilding is a very expensive sport like most sports are when it comes to all the type of attire you have to have and such. When it comes to bodybuilding, it's not just like, you know, paying for your suits and stuff like that because suits are very expensive. You have to keep in mind the amount of food that you have to constantly eat 
every single day. There's no break from eating if you want to be successful in bodybuilding. Um, you know, on top of that, then there's fees and stuff on what shows you want to do. You got to pay for your tan. You got to pay for your makeup. Um, luckily, I have certain situations where I don't need to be paying for all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I do my makeup for my shows myself. But, um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot to keep in mind. Uh, supplementation. But the food is just like the number one thing that you have to just... You have to follow through with, otherwise you're not going to be successful. And buying clean food and even organic food is obviously more expensive nowadays. Um, this right here was about $700 for all this food. We paid like um, close to $11 a pound for chicken and I picked up 50 today. And it was like, I think close to $4 a pound for the um, potatoes. Um, again, this is for convenience, but... Um, when it comes to your grocery shopping, it's good to have a meal plan and then you can plan it all out every single week to know how many pounds you need and such. But if you can do all your cooking in bulk like Dave and I usually do, that's what you wanna do. Set yourself up for success. So let's get packaging on this stuff because it's gonna take me a minute. So this is what it looks like. Not too shabby. Now I gotta put it all in the freezer. So this is our spare freezer down in the basement. And that is how it's done, folks. Look at all those bags of grilled chicken. Even underneath, there's more bags. That's a fuck ton of food. I get all the rice ready and all those potatoes. And yes, I still have some cookies for after the show. What do you know? And then we still have some hamburg up there too to be cooked. But yeah, that is how it's done. After all of that, I had one baggie left. So that worked out well, even though I probably have more downstairs. We stock up on these babies too, because they're much needed. I highly recommend that this is how you store your food. It's the easiest, uh, cheapest way. Um, I know it's annoying probably to be going through this many, many plastic bags, but it is what it is. Choose your battles, folks. Um, but yeah, so if you break it down, I roughly have about four ounces a meal. Um, not every meal is chicken. Um, I do have like a meal that I have with protein powder, um, but if I'm feeling extra hungry on prep, I'll translate that protein powder to chicken so I'm more satisfied. Um, and then four times a week on my low days, I have four low days a week and I have one red meat meal. So I usually have filet with that and I usually cook that fresh. And um, yeah, so if you break it down roughly, it's about a pound of chicken a day roughly that I eat. So um, you know, that's seven pounds a week. So that 50 pounds, we should be, I don't know how much Dave, you know, like obviously his increments are different than mine. I'm sure some of them are similar and some of them are more, um, especially since he's in off season still, but protein typically stays the same. It's the carbs and fats that will shift up and down. Um, but yeah, so we are hoping that we get a good month and a half out of this so then we can order every month and a half from Fireflies. So I think it's going to be a good investment, a uh, good investment in our time so we have more time together because life is chaos. So um, yeah, so that is the routine of how we get our meal prep done. <laughs> All right, I got to try out some of this chicken now. Let's uh, give it a go. Got my four ounces on meal two. And I uh, get some rice cakes and an apple, which I'll save the apple because um, I like to save the apple. So if I get hungry later on, I can have a snack. And another thing, stock up on the rice cakes. They're needed. We go through probably like six sleeves of these a week. Jesus. Good morning. It is Tuesday, um, May 21st. And um, we are cruising right along in the week now. And the weather has been beautiful this week so far. But um, I just finished my fasted cardio. It is 6.30 right now and I am whipping up my breakfast and I'm gonna get out of here at like 7.10 for work. We're gonna cruise along in work this morning. And then once I get home, if it's nice out, might do some things outside with some flowers and whatnot and uh, get some sun while I can. I gotta get that good, that good layer of tan um, before the show so I look extra deep with my tan, which I'm super excited for. But, um, but anyways, 
cruising along here this morning and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Got some oats. Egg whites, go through a ton of these. Let's measure everything out. Making my egg white and oats pancake with some cinnamon. I like to make my um, eggs this way because I get egg whites and um, oatmeal. And I don't always feel like eating eggs, like straight up eggs, so I make a pancake with it and uh, the cinnamon makes it have that nice flavor. Um, sounds gross, but I've been doing this forever and it's the way I like to get my breakfast done. Put some almond butter on top, there you go. And this is what I like to do with my egg whites and uh, oats. Instead of eating them separate, I put them together with some cinnamon and make one big pancake. Put some almond butter on top, perfection. See, doesn't that look good? I literally don't blend it or anything. It's just oats and egg whites and cinnamon, and it comes out just like a pancake. For me, this is good. <laughs> I mean, I do this year round. Put the almond butter on it. One eighth teaspoon of some salt. You need to go. I know, that salt did not get spread out very well, but Oh well, sweet and salty. I like it. Done with work. Ah, we are home. Nice spot for the lunch break. Dave bought these awesome lounge chairs. Super comfortable. I got my chicken wrap here with 30 grams of fruit. Looks so delicious. I'm just gonna chill out and eat my lunch, get some sun, and um, I also have to go around and water all my flowers soon. Our yard is looking really awesome. Grass is so green, but um, yeah, so it's chill time. Then back to work a little later. All right, watered all the flowers. I'm gonna go back to my spot for a little bit and then I'm gonna get some practice posing in outside. Holy shit, is it hot. I am sweating hardcore over here. It's just like, I'm melting. But I'm not gonna stay out much longer. At least there's a little bit of a breeze. You know, me being an esthetician, I am going against my rules of, you know, I shouldn't be in the sun. But, you know, you live once, to each their own. Getting sun is a preference. Um, I don't do tanning beds. I highly suggest you don't either you get like a lot more, probably 50% more UV rays going in those things. The exposure is pretty high. So um, that gives you more of a higher risk of skin cancer. But I know that this isn't any better, but at least you don't get as high of an impact of it. So, but I'm just trying to get a good base tan for the show, you know, and it makes you feel good when you're on prep, you know, you're looking ripped and nice and tan. It shows more of that definition. Hell yeah, I'm doing it for bodybuilding purposes. But, um, but yeah, so posing looked good today. I was pretty happy with how things are going. I am a little less than six weeks out at this point. Um, it's going to be five weeks on Thursday. So in two more days, 
But uh, Dave and I are probably gonna get some gym footage for you guys. We're gonna be hitting legs together today. So that will be fun. So um, we'll probably, I'll probably wrap this up since I'm gonna be going back to work and I'll probably end up seeing you guys back at the gym. Catch you later. hit hamstrings um, we are keeping the sets down to a minimum at this reason? point and um, we're making two sets of everything so you have to put your all in each and every one of those reps so it was good it was tough feel good how you feel I just want to mention if you go to Empire Athletics and you don't put your fucking weights away <laughs> I'm coming after you wipe your shit put your fucking weights away it's part of your workout. That's how you yeah. grow muscle too. Don't be a fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah. We get tired and sick of the fucking people that leave their shit around. I will make you feel this fucking big by the time I'm done. <laughs> yeah. So pick up your shit, people. Don't get us angry. Especially when I'm on prep. We don't want that. We don't we don't want angry Dave. I'm just gonna snort some trend and straighten you all up. <laughs> Uh, gonna love the sarcasm, but, but um, we're gonna have more coming to you guys. I know we had a hiatus of putting yeah. out videos, but after our shows last year, we just needed a break and um, just break from everything in general. And um, doing this, we like doing this, and like you know, giving you guys content to look at because we're just goofballs and just do our thing. But it can be a little bit of weight on your shoulders sometimes when you have so much else going on that you have to focus on. But back to it this feels good doesn't feel like a chore i appreciate you guys like uh, subscribe yeah like and subscribe support us yeah we appreciate you guys and um thanks for spending the day with me till next time